So first off, we're gonna get the duck going. This is one of my favorite things. Uh, springtime coming up, it's really good. It's uh, nothing like being in hot weather, eating some local chicken pate with a, with a maple leaf duck breast. So you uh, kind of just decorating this over the whole plate? Yeah, we do a nice smear on it, but you'll see in the end it forms a nice uh, interaction with the guests and you kind of have to use the bread to clean the plate up. So when you're creating these menu items, you're really looking how to interact the customer with the plate. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. How to engage them as much as possible, uh -huh. get them having fun and, and getting them into the food as much as possible. Right. Then we'll, uh, we'll season with a good amount of Saison vinaigrette. Does this have any relation to the Saison beer? Yeah, we actually take the La Abondance and uh, we uh, emulsify it with, uh, with oil and a little bit of mustard and a good amount of salt and just a splash of the orange juice. But yes, we do put the La Abondance in the Saison vinaigrette. That's awesome. Then we'll get this guy all stirred up. Try to get all those ingredients mixed in and uh -huh. incorporated and dispersed as much as we can. You're looking for that nice creamy texture from the emulsified vinaigrette. It'll add that nice creamy mouthfeel to it. Uh, with all the flavors that are in here, it's, it's gonna turn into a really good dish. Mm -hmm. So then once that is done, we start plating. We can see all the ingredients in there, the different radishes, we can see the frisee, we can see the fennel, everything's kind of right there. We're gonna just slice the duck, and then we'll take that right on the plate here. That's our duck dish on the spring menu right wow, now. Wow, check that out. That looks fantastic. We'll get you eating this in a minute and we'll pair it up with some beers. You'll find duck in every single menu, on our brunch menu, our lunch menu, and on our dinner menu um, every season throughout the year. I'd really recommend uh, La Bondance, which is our Belgian Saison. Okay. Uh, it's brewed with a little bit of uh, rye and also has a pretty big uh, wheat component to it. It's nice and bright and uh, citrusy with almost some uh, spicy peppery notes to it, which would really complement uh, the citrus, the dressing in there, and uh, provide a nice balance against the meat in the dish. Awesome. So I got a little sample for you here. If you All want. right. Dig in there. So what do I do first? Do I eat? Do I drink? I don't know if the, the order really matters, but I do really recommend when you're pairing beer with food to alternate. Um, I think a lot of people um, get into the groove of just finishing their dish and then finishing their beer, mm -hmm. um, but to really get the uh, the full experience of the beer and food pairing is, you know, take a, take a sip between bites and uh, it'll kind of play off each other. Really okay. Well. All right, well, I'll go for the salad first since that has the dressing on there. Mm. That's really nice and fresh. Yeah, I really get a nice citrus flavor out of that. Yeah, part of that comes from uh, our Belgian yeast. Um, we ferment at a very warm temperature, which tends to throw off um, esters, um, which um, in many yeast strains or many styles of beer are a bad thing, but for a beer like this, it's a very good thing. Um, this beer ferments at almost 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very warm for a beer, but uh -huh. then it throws off a lot of those nice, bright, uh, fruity notes. And then we actually dry hop our Saison, which um, isn't uh, super common, it's not uncommon. Um, but that also adds, again, another layer of uh, fruitiness um, uh, coming from the hops. Yeah, it really meshes well with the duck, too. Oh yeah, especially the way they cook it, it's always tender and it's a little bit fattier. There's just so much more flavor to it. And the other thing when pairing beer with food is you don't want to overwhelm the food with the beer. You either want to complement it or contrast a little bit. There's not necessarily a, ever a wrong pairing, but if I were to throw um, some stout at you right now, it would kind of like cover over all the flavors of uh, the lighter <laughs> citrus or um, it almost clash in a way. 